again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 10th of February, 2019. Where's Ivanka Trump? You'd think she'd be all over this. Article is on the Daily Wire, written by Hank Barron, that's B-E-R-R-I-E-N. Title, Heartbreaking, Iowa Boy 9 holds stuffed animals in court while describing alleged torture. On Wednesday, a heartbreaking scene occurred in an Iowa court as a nine-year-old boy holding a stuffed Paw Patrol chase dog and a Spider-Man action figure told the court that his father's girlfriend locked him in a cement basement for at least nine hours a day in the summer of 2017 beat him with the wire handle of a fly swatter and forced him to carry a backpack filled with rocks. Tracy Tyler, 40, and her boyfriend, Alex Shadlow, 30, the boy's father, are being tried on first-degree kidnapping charges. The Daily Mail reports authorities claim the couple intentionally subjected the boy to physical and mental torture in a six-foot by six-foot area under the basement stairs for at least nine hours a day from July to September 2017. The basement had no light, furniture, or bedding, and the boy had to pee in a tin coffee can. He was also never given food while inside the basement, prosecutors said. Police also stated that the couple encouraged their dog to bite the boy. According to the Waterloo Cedar Falls Courier, the boy described being hungry and super cold in the basement room. He was afraid because Tyler had told him a dead dog was buried in the room with him. He said he slept sitting up with his arms around his legs to try to keep warm. According to police, a makeshift door was locked from the outside. The boy was barred from the kitchen because the door was locked. Police stated that the boy who was abandoned by his birth mother, then put up for adoption and finally placed with his father, has permanent scars on his back and limbs and suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. Penny Osborne, a physician assistant who examined the boy, said he had six scars on his back that were each between three to six inches in length. Police said Tyler stated that the boy was locked in the basement because of bad behavior and food stealing. The Des Moines Register reported that on Tuesday a video Tyler herself took of the boy was discussed in court. It showed him desperate to use the bathroom and so much pain he eventually lost control of his bodily function and urinates. As Assistant Attorney General Tyler Buller noted, he added, this part of the crime is on tape. One of Tyler's attorneys, Aaron Stryberg, claimed Tyler had only been obeying the advice of medical professionals who told her that the boy had to get her permission before using the bathroom. The couple said the boy was having accidents in the house. Multiple school officials stated that the boy had no record of that kind of behavior at school or in other people's homes. Schreiberg added, of Tyler, she was desperate. She was trying to figure out what was wrong with this child. At the end of the day, there is no intent, there is no injury, and there is no kidnapping. Tyler told Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation Special Agent Matthew Schlock that it was Schladlow who wanted the boy locked in the basement and that she repeatedly checked on him. Ackley Police Chief Brian Sherman said the case just makes you sick. He termed the boy's confinement as being locked in a dungeon. During the trial, after the boy admitted climbing on the counters of the home to find food, one of Tyler's attorneys, Ted Fisher, asked, that's the only naughty thing you did at the house? That's naughty, trying to find food? When the boy returned to school in the fall of 217, teachers were concerned he was gaunt and his hair was falling out. Susan Brent. The boy's second grade teacher said in court, he looked very pale, he looked very thin, and I was very surprised by his appearance. I couldn't believe that this was a little boy that I knew the year before. Cam Shipper, the boy's third grade teacher, said the boy looked like a skeleton and repeatedly said he was hungry. Principal Teresa Kinger testified, he was not the same boy I last saw in May. 
He was not the same boy that we knew. After he was caught stealing gum from another student's locker, Shipper stated the boy told her his situation. He started talking about how he's hungry all the time. He doesn't get to eat food at home. And when he does try to get food at home, he gets in trouble. He eventually started telling me about the place in the basement where he slept on the floor and it was dark. The school alerted the Department of Human Services child protection worker Carol Allen arrived unannounced at the home in September 2017. At Allen's prompting, Allen said Tyler showed her to the basement where Allen said a puddle, which Tyler told her was the boy's urine. Allen said, she asked, is there a light in there? She got a negative response. She persisted. What does he sleep on? Pillow, blanket, anything? Alan said. Tyler replied, he just ruins those things so he doesn't get those things. Alan recalled, I said, this is unacceptable. This is abuse. Alan said she asked Tyler if she would sleep in the basement herself. She said, Tyler answered, I would behave. You know, w when you read things like this, it just shows you how sick our society has become. And it all stems from being turned away from God, being turned away from real religion, not Muslim cults. This is totally disgusting. These people need to be sent to prison for a very, very long time. And this child will probably never be sane ever again. He can't trust anyone. I hope I'm wrong. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. Pass along to like-minded friends. Thanks for listening.